The Bloomington police chief is firing back tonight. He's upset about their early release of two women from prison after a change to the state's felony murder law. This is the story that Fox 9 broke. Today, Chief Booker Hodges said the women should still be in prison for their roles in the 2017 murder of Corey Elder. Fox 9's Paul Bloom joins us with reaction and the fallout here. Paul? Booker Hodges was not police chief in Bloomington at the time of this murder involving half a dozen co-conspirators. But on Friday, the chief took to social media to speak out against the law and the prison release of these two convicted felons some two and a half years early. I hope you have learned a lot from this, but bottom line is um, you should have still continued to serve the time. While holding up their prison mug shots, Bloomington Police Chief Booker Hodges delivered a direct message to Megan Cater and Brianna Martinson. Crocodile tears. It's amazing what some people get with crocodile tears. They were part of a group of six who ultimately pleaded guilty to felony murder charges in the 2017 shooting of Corey Elder. The women were sentenced to matching 13 and a half year prison sentences for scheming to break in and steal drugs from Elder inside his Bloomington apartment. They were charged with aiding and abetting after these two men ended up violently assaulting and then killing Elder. Last year, Minnesota's legislature rewrote the laws on felony murder, strengthening the language so that only major participants in the actual killing can face the harshest consequences. Lawmakers making those changes retroactive so those already serving their time can be resentenced on lesser charges. For Cater and Martinson, it was aiding and abetting first-degree burglary. And with time already served, they were released from the Shakopee Women's Prison more than two and a half years early. The victim's loved ones have already shared their anger and frustration with Fox 9. Chief Hodges joining them Friday with this video message posted to social media. The family of Mr. Elder, I know you're frustrated uh, that he's not here and saddened, but just know that uh, there's a lot of us in this system, it might not seem like it, that still focus on victims. And I will always focus on victims. And it's important to note here that two other men who waited out in the car when Elder was killed are also appealing their original sentences with the courts. Ultimately, this decision is up to a judge, though in this case, the Hennepin County Attorney's Office supported Cater and Martinson's efforts to have those charges reduced. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right, Paul.